Uh, I'm Peter Brownlee and uh, this is Lola, my dog. Some of you who live in the Chew Valley may have seen Lola around. Welcome to this first film that I'm making just to give you some pointers on how you can make better films. The first thing is choose an interesting subject, something you're interested in, something you think other people will want to find out about or write a story, a short story. Think of locations you've got. We're so lucky in the Chu Valley in the Mendip area that we've got so many lovely natural or indeed in a, in a busy town. They're amazing locations. So think where your film's going to be based. Think of a good subject or a good story or a documentary about, about the environment, about how you feel about this lovely world of ours and what you're worried about or what you love about it. It can be a sad film, it can be a happy film, it can be anything you want, but here are some pointers how you can make it better. And the first thing is, if you watch me filming this on my phone, you'd realise I'm holding the phone longwise. Because if I hold it like that, it's, uh, it doesn't make such a good picture on the big screen or when you're looking at on a television or on a proper computer. It's fine for a phone, but that's the way we like it. And one of the rules of this competition is that you film it, what's called landscape, that way around. Now, the other thing is the sound. Today is not a very windy day, but if you get a windy day, it's very hard to record clear sound unless you've got special microphones. Now, some of you might be able to get microphones that you can put little windshields on and attach to people. That's fine, but I suspect the majority of you won't. I can't hear it with my ears, but any wind acts like a, a noise. You're probably hearing it now. And that distracts. So tr unless you have to really film in windy conditions, in which case you try and shield the microphone from the wind, but just take care and make sure you listen back. When you think you've filmed something and you like it, listen back to it, make sure you're happy with the sound because sound is something that people don't really think about in films. They think, oh, I'll just record some pictures and the sound will come automatically with it. Well, good sound is actually, you've got to take care and you've got to think about it. So those are my first two points. Yeah, my next point is don't film everything where your head is. Most people just film at head height, but if you get the camera down, down low, and it's much more interesting if I'm down at the Lola's level. Whereas if I shoot it like that, well, it's okay, but it's not as interesting as if I can see Lola's face and eyes. I probably need to also be careful of focus, but actually getting close to things makes them more interesting. If you look at my duck race film, I interview lots of people, because you're nice and close, the sound's clear, and also you just feel more involved in the scene. So don't be frightened of getting close. Now, this shot has got a special name. You're not seeing me, you're looking at what I'm looking at, and that's called a POV, point of view shot. So think about your character, what they're looking at. Oh, and the other thing is, Remember to shoot some shots of your character actually not saying anything. People say that's a very unusual thing for me not to say anything. Lots of wind here. But of course, the sound on a shot like this isn't so important if I'm not talking. Also, if you've got someone going through a gate, as well as them going through the gate, Remember to take a shot of them opening. Oh, come on, Lola. On you come. That's a good girl. Now, you see, I missed it closing there. Let's do it again. Don't be afraid to do things a number of times if you miss something. I'm shooting on my phone, and one thing I find that happens a fair amount is I forget where the lens is. So sometimes I'm filming and I've got my hand in the shot. So, um, oh look, I've got my hand on the thing. <laughs> so I hope you find those few little tips useful. Um, it would be lovely to get lots of different films from you. You can make more than one, of course. You can make one by yourself, one with your friends, and one with your family. 
I hope you have fun and I look forward to seeing your films. Good luck.